Hello, Pisces, Pisces rising and Pisces moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting July 24th, 2017. And a quick reminder for all of you Pisces people out there, if you are on the Eastern Hemisphere side of the world, you know, planets in astrology pay no attention to the Gregorian calendar. Like, they don't care about man-made calendars whatsoever. So, you know, take, you know, take that understanding and realize that sometimes what I'm putting out, you know, what, what may be on a Monday for me may be a Tuesday for you, or a Wednesday for me may be a Thursday for you, because I'm, you know, West Coast, U.S. and Canada, Pacific's time zone, very, very different than if you went to, say, Australian time zone. So it's important to keep that in mind when you are any horoscope, honestly, depending on where they're coming from. You know, it, it, it could make a big difference even if they were coming out of, say, New York or the U.K., um, or even Sydney, I would even also be like, okay, well, if it's coming out of, you know, you know, Eastern Australia, then I know it's going to be, you know, my stuff's going to happen a day earlier than what they're saying. So just something to keep in mind. Okay. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. Also got a special little treat there for uh, all of you people who have made a purchase of the Tarot Home Study course. Uh, later on this week, check that Dropbox uh, link that I sent everybody. Um, that, those are the ones that came with your purchase or the ones that I sent out to everyone, you know, once we updated them and everything in the very beginning. I'm going to start adding some stuff to those Dropboxes. Um, so you will actually be able to um, actually get more spreads and more material. So it's almost like you paid for a membership that you only had to pay for once. So that might be something to think about. Um, and if you're interested in, again, uh, getting a copy of that yourself, you can always just go to my website and you can follow the links below. So what is going on with your astrology, Pisces? Well, this week on Monday, we do have Venus, planet of love and romance and harmony in your fourth house of home and family. It is forming an opposition to Saturn currently retrograde in your 10th house of career. And there seems to be, again, a bit of a buyer's remorse, second thought kind of energy coming to this. A new opportunity as it relates to your home and your family life, um, or something that could actually be very beneficial to your home, home economics, um, or again, you know, dealing with your relatives and things like that, is coming in direct opposition to what schedule you have set forth for yourself when it comes to your career. And you may be actually seeing this as a bit of a wake-up call about what to do with your career, where, what direction it's gone down, um, and where you saw yourself being at this point in time. You may find that things are going great with work and great with home, but they're going in separate directions. The middle way is always going to be the answer, but you may be feeling this week like there's something that you really wish you could do to reconnect with home and family, or perhaps actually just have an ideal living situation that some reason is coming into conflict with your schedule or your work demands that needs to be worked out. On Wednesday, we've got the Sun forming a tight conjunction with Mars, planet of action and energy in Leo in your sixth house of work, reputation, and your physical health. And this always indicates a battle that we need to fight. And this could be a battle that we can win. And this may actually have to do with you going to war <laughs> in a lot of ways when it comes to your reputation and how you are seen. All the other signs seem to be getting some kind of message about a particular person or a particular instance. But you may actually be finding yourselves, Pisces, in a situation where you have to challenge, um, I guess you could say, a crowd perception of you or a broader perception of yourself. Where are you being misunderstood? Is this getting in the way of work? Is this getting in the way of how you want to you know, be surrounded socially? Is this, you know, is this what you're being recognized for? Are you proud of what you're popular for? Or do you need to go and turn that kind of situation around? This battle, this correction, this course correction, whatever it is, may be met with some resistance, but you will win and you should take up this cause. So what's going on with spiritual advice? I've got the card of the Ram. And the Ram is honestly saying, hey, this is a week where you do need to pay attention to where, you know, as the ram, as the, the sure-footed mountain goat, you know, it's important to pay attention to where you do need to be able to move in spite of, you know, in face of obvious dangers or things that might be seen as obvious dangers. There could be things that show up this week that may make you feel like, oh, this is professional suicide or this is, you know, 
or this is a social death sentence or whatever because of the the energy I'm doing. Um, and again, but when we think about the ram, the ram can actually you know walk and jump and leap and you know all over the place. Um, when it comes to again precarious situations, you know scary mountain cliffs and things like that. Yes, it is dangerous, but the ram has you know is holding it down, and that might be something to pay attention to. It's dangerous. It's dangerous for him as well, but he can handle it. And this, you know, you don't want to be afraid of doing something just because there is a potential danger in there or a danger that is considered, um, you know, I guess you could say common knowledge this week. Now, don't take unnecessary risks. Don't do anything to put your physical health, um, you know, your home and your life in, in, you know, in total jeopardy. Don't just wash it all down the drain. That's self-sabotage. But I would say that this week there may be some things that you've been coddling yourself about, and that needs to stop. For your Earth sector, when it comes to work and finances, we've got the Queen of Wands reversed. Talk about a need for a course correction. The Queen of Wands reversed can often indicate a situation where somebody has sort of commandeered control of our work and career direction. Now, she may not have commandeered control of you personally, but she may have commandeered control of the venue that you work in, the group that you're a part of, or the workforce or department that you spend time in. This could be either a new boss, a fellow coworker, or possibly even a client who's just got everyone under her thumbs. Maybe she's VIP? Doesn't mean she's not a B? The Queen of Wands Reverse can often show up here as a situation where a person is throwing their weight around um, in a way to look assertive and look, and look dominant, but it's all for show. And believe me, I can tell you, when it comes to the Queen of Wands Reverse, her, her ego is so fragile. Um, you know, just shatter it and you're good to go. It, the thing about the Queen of Wands reverse that you want to pay attention to is, though, bark is always worse than its bite. And you don't want to allow yourself to become intimidated or peer pressured this week when it comes to peer pressure on how to put, where to put your money, where to invest it or reinvest it, because that seems to be an issue. There's a toxic trend being followed with this card, and you've got to be atten pay attention to where you need to, again, course correct where you may have been following the wrong herd. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, you've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Looks like somebody's going to be asking you to get them out of a jam that they could easily get out of themselves, and God knows they probably put themselves there. Sometimes the Nine of Pentacles reversed can often show up as a situation where a person is trying really, really hard to get you to do something for them, not because they can't do it, but they're actually asking you to kind of prove some kind of loyalty, some kind of uh, devotion. It's almost more about their, in, their, their questioning your devotion to them. So they want to see you do it. Um, and that's never a good thing. And the Nine of Pentacles reverse is basically saying, you know, when it comes to this friend or this relative, there may be some issues with some guilt trips. There may be some problems going on there. Interestingly enough, though, with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, um, even if you do decide to cave and give in to them, there could be something in it for you. Maybe a token, maybe merely a trifle, but there could be some bit of reward in it. If you choose not to do it, you're not passing up on any reward, however. Usually the universe will give us something for a job well done or a problem well avoided. Well, for your challenge this week with fire, we do have the judgment card upright. And again, it's heeding the call to go to battle. It's heeding the, goal, the, the call to not let performance anxiety or the fear of putting, being put on the spot get to you. Okay, because the Judgment card of Bright says you are going to be put on the spot this week, or you have an opportunity to dramatically advance and involve your situation, evolve your situation um, in a way that works extremely well for the positive in your life. Um, if you are willing to be put up on the stand, or put up on stage, or be put up in that you know in that scary, compromising position, but the Judgment card of Bright says that this may actually be a test. You know, this may actually be sort of a universal test of your methods, a challenge uh, to see what is going on in the Pisces head when it comes to the Pisces performance record. Do not, do not bail on the universe. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Page of Cups reversed. Not necessarily a bad card to get, but you know, usually with the Page of Cups reversed, we've got to pay attention to somebody giving us the wrong kind of attention. 
um, even if they're doing it with the best of intentions. Usually the page of cups reverse can actually be a good problem to have because sometimes it just means that somebody's going a bit too far to show how much they care. This could be too much attention. Uh, this could be feeling a bit crowded this week uh, romantically. You may be feeling like there is somebody who, you know, either A, won't take yes for an answer and lay off or won't take no for an answer and lay off. You may be noticing a partner trying to almost overcompensate for something they don't need to overcompensate for. And your, your challenge with this, interestingly enough, is, you know, this actually is still love. It may not come in the right fashion. This person may be, it, it almost feels like they're acting like they're a, a bit more worried than they should be. And the Page of Cups reverse is saying, you know, pay attention to the thought that counts in this situation. Because they may not necessarily know what they're doing, but they know you deserve to have some kind of love. And that's also important. So that is your horoscope, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.